Hey Hydro friends, Charlie here with another episode from Proponics, where we explore the wonderful world of growing plants without soil. In this video, we're going to do a deep dive into hydroponics versus aeroponics. We'll look at the key differences between these two soilless growing methods, the pros and the cons of each, and help you decide which one is better for your needs. So whether you're just starting out in hydroponics or you're an experienced grower looking to switch things up, stick around as we unlock the secrets of hydro versus aero. Let's start with the basics. What exactly are hydroponics and aeroponics? Well, in both methods, plants grow without soil, just like little green astronauts floating in space. The main difference is how the plants get water and nutrients. In hydroponics, the roots either sit directly in nutrient-rich water or the water gets delivered to the roots through flooding, dripping, wicking, and so on. With aeroponics, it's all about misting the roots with a fine spray of nutrient solution. The roots hang suspended in air and get misted several times a day. It's like your plants are getting a refreshing spa treat. So in summary, hydroponics equals roots soaked in nutrient water, aeroponics equals roots misted with nutrient spray. Pretty simple so far, right? Now, let's dive deeper into the pros and cons of each system and see how they compare for growing speed, health, nutrients, and more. We'll start with plant growth and overall health. In this area, aeroponics has a slight advantage. With the roots freely dangling in air, they can take a ton of oxygen. It's like your plants are breathing pure mountain air. This supercharged oxygen intake causes faster growth. Plants get big and bushy much quicker compared to having their roots soaked in hydroponic systems. Another benefit is disease prevention. With the roots totally isolated in their own little air chamber, it's harder for mold and bacteria to take hold like they might in soggy hydroponic setups. So in summary, plants tend to grow quicker and stay healthier in aeroponic systems thanks to maximum air intake. Next up is nutrient absorption. How effectively can the plant roots take in all those good minerals? Studies have shown that aeroponics wins again here. With a superfine mist coating the roots, they absorb more nutrients compared to having the roots submerged in a hydroponic reservoir. For example, lettuce grown aeroponically absorbs way more nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium versus hydroponically grown lettuce. We're talking around 30 to 50% more minerals taken in by the thirsty plant. This amazing nutrient absorption leads to faster growth and bigger yields. So aeroponics is crushing it so far. All right, so aeroponics is killing it in growth speed and nutrient absorption, but hydroponics has a big advantage when it comes to variety of crops you can grow. With hydro, you can grow all kinds of veggies from leafy greens to tomatoes and peppers. But while it's more difficult than other vegetables, you can in fact grow root crops like potatoes, carrots, and onions, and even fruit trees and vines. That's because with hydroponics, the roots have a lot more support from perlite, clay pebbles, cocoa coir, or whatever medium you use. This provides stability for larger and heavier plants. But in aeroponics, the roots are just dangling in the breeze. This works great for smaller, lightweight plants like lettuce and herbs, but huge root crops and fruit trees would be too top heavy. So if you want to grow a big diversity of plants, hydroponics is much more flexible. Now let's look at cost and ease of building your systems. In general, hydroponics is a lot cheaper and easier to DIY compared to aeroponics. With hydro, you can often make your own systems for cheap or free household items, plastic bins, PVC pipes, storage totes, and so on. But aeroponics requires pumps and timers as well as specialized misting nozzles. So most people buy commercial kits. Hydroponics is also way simpler to operate and maintain. Just top off the nutrient reservoir now and then. Whereas aeroponics requires closely monitored pressurized pumps and making sure misters don't get clogged. So if you're budget conscious and love easy DIY projects, hydroponics is likely the better choice. All right, we've covered a lot of ground comparing these two amazing growing methods. Let's do a light recap. Aeroponics wins for faster plant growth, better nutrient absorption, lower disease risk. Hydroponics wins for more variety of crop, much cheaper to build, easier to maintain. So which one is better? 
Well, it really depends on your goals. If you're all about growing foliage crops like lettuce as fast and efficiently as possible, then aeroponics is probably your best bet. But if you want to grow a wide variety of veggies and do it yourself on a budget, then hydroponics is likely the better choice. You really can't go wrong either way. Both methods blow traditional soil gardening out of the water when it comes to speed and plant health. All right, gardeners, that wraps up our deep dive into hydroponics versus aeroponics. I hope this gave you a clear idea of the pros and cons of each system. If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics. Grow smarter with proponics. And until next time, happy growing.